Hi, welcome to DIY Prop Shop, where we recreate your favorite props without breaking the bank. Here we go. So, I'm new. You've never seen me before. Uh, my name is Vinny, and I've been working on props, themed entertainment, robotics, all kinds of crazy projects for over 10 years now. Something else that I like to do in my free time is play some video games. One of my favorite games of all time is Portal, and today we're going to be making the Companion Cube, which is probably my favorite non-character of all time. So the Weighted Companion Cube is an item designed to help get you through all the levels in Portal. It's a recurring character that, uh, unfortunately, you have to incinerate at the end of the level. By the way, that was a spoiler. But if you haven't played the game, I, I can't help you. Looking at how this might be constructed, you can certainly make this out of wood, but you would really need a full wood shop to do that. You could also sew this together if you want to make a very plushy cube uh, without some of that edge detail, but I don't know the first thing about sewing. So I think, I think we're actually going to go with foam. We've got our foam stock pieces here. Uh, this is our half inch thick. This is our two inch thick piece. Some nice sandpaper to work with. That's a 220 grit. I think a good size to make this uh, would be about 14 inches by 14 inches for the base cube with about two inches more thickness for those outer corner attachments. And these are gonna fit onto the cube corners and really grow the dimensions out. We also need that weird little piece that goes on the edge. I don't really know what to call this thing. Uh, you can call it Franklin, but that'd be a little bit weird. I know this looks like a lot of math and numbers right now, but don't worry about it. There's gonna be a cut list in the description of this video where we lay it all out for you. So all you have to do is transcribe this onto your pieces of foam and then you're good to cut. Our very fancy dust mask that you must wear at all times when you're cutting or sanding this stuff. And we've got our safety goggles. I like to use a uh, nice sharp handsaw for the big stuff and a utility knife for the smaller piece. You can take sandpaper right to this edge to get a nice clean finish on that. You may be feeling a bit overwhelmed right now, but do not despair because I'm gonna show you how to fit these all together after we organize them into nice neat piles. I feel like Baron Von Foam here. Let's look at one of those corner pieces. We're going to construct eight of these and those will go around our cube. The number one rule of foam is that foam is weird. So please use a piece of scrap foam and test any solvent, paint, material, whatever that you use. Make sure that you're not about to melt <laughs> your nice pieces. Look at that. So you see right away that primer is eating the foam. Whoa, <laughs> look at that stuff. It's like Spider-Man. That doesn't seem to be eating the material. Let me spread it out a little bit. Don't wear your nice clothes when you do this. You just wanna try to apply enough pressure at the right spots to get these edges to line up nicely. Don't worry about the seams right now. Even if it comes out a little bit crooked, that's totally fine because we're gonna cover over all of this and remember, foam is very forgiving. I also glued my watch to my hand. So I've been drawing X's on all of these faces in marker because we need to find where the exact center of uh, each of these faces are. We can now do a dry fit onto the cube and see how this all looks when it comes together. In order to get that other very characteristic feature of the companion cube, which is those circular cutouts and scalloped edges on all sides, we'll need some kind of template that tells us how to cut those curves in each of these pieces. So now we can line up this nice shish kebab skewer down into the center of the X that we cut before. And this gives us, as long as this is straight, which that looks pretty good to me, a tracing edge. We'll need to transfer that same diameter circle onto the middleman's. So now that we've got these cut lines, we can do another super cheaty template that I've made uh, that gives us two curves. One curve will hug against that inner line that we drew before for cutting. Everything under this line is getting cut and everything from here, that's going to get sanded down. I'm trying to be delicate with the foam. We're gonna sand off this portion following this curve and having it go at about a 45 degree angle down to that lower edge. So I'm gonna try this and this is already 
That's making kind of a mess. I mean, it's a, it's a lower grit, but I'm wondering if this would actually do a better job. We can keep this angle and also not cut our fingers. And there's that. And I'm gonna do a similar thing for the middleman. I've got another little cheaty template. Hug the inner side of this template to the line that we drew before. We'll do a cut and then that angled cut on all of these. I'm not even going to count how many cuts that is because I might become too isolated and depressed and the companion cube is not fully realized yet to comfort me. All right, so the last thing that we need to cut out for this companion cube is the little heart circle that goes on the center of every face. Just trace the outside. We're not gonna worry about that heart cutout just yet. Okay, so this is our last piece to glue on. This is a corner piece that's gonna go right on this missing edge here. And that fits on right there. We're gonna pin it. We will let this dry. So good morning. I conked out last night after trying to get all of these angles exactly correct. So we're back today, uh, we're ready to spackle. And when we put this layer on, we don't wanna go super heavy, like we're not decorating a cake here. We're just trying to fill in the cracks, which we'll sand down and then we'll be ready to paint it after that. For the coloring scheme, the base cube wants to get colored gray, where all of these outcroppings, uh, the corner bits, the middlemans, and the white circles on the inside, those are getting the um, whitish color. One of the last details we'll need to put on the cube are the hearts that go on all of the circular faces. So we're gonna line it up, carefully take this up, and you got a heart on one face. So for our final details, we'll wanna create some pink stripes, also going horizontally and vertically on the gray part of the cube. You can either freehand that if you're really good or tape it off like I'm going to. And then after that, just a little bit of dry brushing on some of the rough edges. Uh, you could use a little black or you know, introduce a little different color. Um, I think that would look really good. So we've got a finished companion cube. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success and especially huge success to everyone following along at home in real time. Uh, you're the real champions. Actually, you're a maniac if you were able to do that. If you've got any ideas of what we should make next time, send an email to DIYPropShop at break.com or just leave a message in the comments below. I'm Vinny and I'm gonna go do some science for those who are still alive. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. For DIY Prop Shop and other great videos, check us out on Watchable.com or download the free Watchable iOS app. Watchable creates the best of the web in daily video playlists. Whether you're looking for hit web series, groundbreaking comedy, style and food gurus, jaw-dropping extreme sports, or the latest movie trailers, Watchable has it all.